tetanus is bacterial infection it is caused by bacteria clostridium tetani you can see on the image it's important because it's almost 100 percent preventable but if left untreated it has 50 percent of death rate so highly fatal disease now let's say how it works and what is the mechanism of action first we have puncture wounds and person is infected by bacteria bacteria release toxins into blood and these toxins affect our nerve cells and these toxins inhibit inhibitory neurons which means it prevent muscle from relaxation and muscle continuously contracts and severe contraction occurs and person has severe muscle contraction that's the hallmark of disease and we have symptoms because of these muscle contractions and if we say what is most common and most important three symptoms we can say that first is lockjaw this is first and most important and hallmark of the disease and sardonic smile or sardonic face you can see how it is it is because of lockjaw because of uh, muscle spasticity and muscle contractions muscle rigidity is second most important symptom especially abdominal muscles and neck muscles and third important symptom is difficulty breathing because spasm and contraction of breathing muscles and person can die because of difficulty breathing and spasm of these muscles this contraction of muscles is painful and we can remember this sardonic smile which is characteristic for tetanus now let's say what is analogy in real life you can imagine tetanus infection as a car who has failed brake system and the car continuously accelerates and speed ups and you can't control it it looks like this muscle contraction continuous muscle contraction because neurons which are responsible on inhibition and relaxation of muscles is inhibited that's why muscles continuously contracted now let's say timeline of the disease first we have infection infection usually is um, punctured wound and this punctured wound is deep usually and not a uh, small wounds usually does not cause tetanus but deep punctured wound especially for example rusty nails or farming equipment and sometimes animal bites also can cause such wound uh, astral birth practice also and deep and contaminated wound is important at this case infection rate is 25 percent so it's quite high if this wound is punctured and is contaminated and deep of course I'm not talking about very shallow uh, wounds. I'm talking about really deep wounds. We should remember this. And from infection, first symptom appear. It ha it can happen in one day, but usually it takes eight day to appear first symptoms from first symptoms such as muscle spasticity and muscle contraction and rigidity they are first initial symptoms from first symptom to serious symptom such as lockjaw it takes around two weeks
and it's around 22 days from infection. After serious symptom, it takes around two weeks also to develop death and person will die after four week around four week from first symptoms that's the timeline of the disease and what is most important part we can do is vaccination vaccination protects almost 100 percent from tetanus but we should remember that vaccination protects person around 10 year and second vaccination booster is needed if person is high risk uh, and tetanus vaccination usually usually is childhood vaccination in childhood vaccination schedule in most countries now let's say what is treatment treatment is tetanus immunoglobulin it neutralizes the toxin and is essential for immediate management but we should remember even we have management even we have a good practice how we can treat this disease uh, treatment can last for several weeks so it's slow process improvement is slow process want key want cleaning and debridement is important part of course and antibiotics like metronidazole or penicillin is used to kill the bacteria clostridium and um, some clinics and some uh, physicians also uh, recommends preventive if person has for example wound serious wound and deep wound and it's punctured wound and contaminated maybe prescribe antibiotics such as metronidazole for prevention but of course it has many contro uh, controversies because maybe this benefit uh, could be few compared to uh, harm this antibiotic can give person but in many cases in real practice most doctors prescribe preventive antibiotics that's all i wanted to say about tetanus thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now